long history for Provo, 19th annual, which for here is a lot. Um, started in Sapadilla Bay, uh, just a few friends, case of beer, a boat race, and 19 years later, we have a few thousand people on Saturday, hopefully, and centering on kids, kids and, and boats. We've, we've kind of uh, uh, become a, a kid-friendly program. We're catering to kids on Hobie Cats, Native Sloops, um, lots of fun, come on out. The Fool's Regatta is not only a fun-filled event, but an important fundraiser to the social development of the Turks and Caicos Islands. Each year, the Fool's Regatta picks a charity organization to donate to, and for the past 19 years, over $300,000 has been raised for various organizations, with this year being no exception. The money this year, um, and, and tradition of course with the Fool's Regatta, is that we raise money for nonprofit organizations. Um, last year, you may remember, we, we raised uh, funds for the Provo Children's Home. This year, we're shifting gears a little bit, and we're actually raising money for the National Sailing Center, which is going to be built on this site in the Children's Park. There's land designated for the uh, sailing center, and, and really the mandate will be, you know, teaching people and especially kids how to sail, uh, whether it's on Hobie Cats or on a, on a future fleet of boats and so on. The sailing center will also be used for future full regatta celebrations, sailing and kiteboarding events. One of the main organizers of the event gave news for a sneak peek into what activities this year's regatta will hold. The whole focus of the regatta is um, around kids. We want to get the kids out on the water. We have several regattas, several races. Um, we're kicking off at noon, 12 o'clock, and uh, that's with uh, the skippers meeting. Um, then 12.30 we have the big boat race. Um, then we have several trophies, uh, trophies where a pair of kids will be sailing, uh, races where there's an adult and a kid that will be sailing. Then um, a big exciting event will happen at 3 o'clock where all the boats will be taken off the water and the U.S. Coast Guard will fly in and do a search and rescue demo right here off the beach in front of all the spectators. Not just about boats, this annual occasion will also have food, drinks and games. I have to mention Mary Higgs's world famous crab and rice. Uh, in addition to the raft race, which is an uh, additional to the regatta this year, we're reviving it from years past. Every school from South Caicos to up here in Provo has been uh, notified of the raft race. So hopefully we have about already we have about 20 entries. I'm sure WIV will have their their raft in the in the event, and uh, we have a steel drum band. Asa from Techno Sounds will be jamming all day. Uh, tug of war, come down and pull your parents into a pit. The regatta already has perhaps its biggest fan in the form of the premier of the Turks and Caicos, Honorable Galmo Williams. I understand the regatta can, can be here on Saturday. Uh, I'll be out to that, and uh, I'm looking forward to that. I, I think it's one of the biggest uh, events of the year. It's uh, when the, uh, what I like about it is when uh, locals and uh, and and uh, well, uh, locals and and, uh, and uh, all the residents get together and just make a fool of themselves trying to sail yeah. and uh, have fun. So it's gonna be great. I'm looking forward to it. 